Good evening, and welcome to our nightly devotional. Grace and peace be upon you this night. We begin our worship by lighting candles. This week we are lighting the candles of hope, peace, and joy. For in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him. And without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Let us continue our worship this night with singing our praises to our God. Amen. We continue our worship this night with a reading from Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 1 through, thir- 1 through 9. The servant, a light to the nations. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth. And the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord who creates the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have chosen you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Here ends the reading for tonight. The early followers of Jesus read and heard these words from Isaiah. They sensed that Isaiah was speaking about someone like Jesus. For they saw within Jesus' life and teachings the embodiments of being chosen by God, as we've seen in tonight's scripture passage. For in this scripture passage, as described, God's chosen one would act like this in the world, that Jesus is the light to all nations. 
and that the light he shines is justice for all people, to release the captives, to set the oppressed free, to feed the widow and the orphan. For the people of Israel remembered being in captivity in Babylon. They remembered being slaves in Egypt, and they did not want that to happen to them anymore. They did not want that to happen to anyone, in any place, in any time, anymore. It is a sad testament to the history of Christianity that we failed to see the light of Christ for so long, that we were willing to abide by slavery, that we were willing to abide by practices of death, that we were willing to abide by deceit and lies. That ends tonight. That ends this Christmas season. For Jesus is the light of the world to shine righteousness, which means justice to all people in all places all over this world. Take the words of Christ and the words of Isaiah seriously. Set the oppressed free. Feed the hungry and the widow. For as we journey to Bethlehem this night, let us remember that Jesus is the light. And when we have difficulty seeing the light, seeing the way of Christ, remember to open our eyes, to open our minds, to read the words of Jesus, to read the prophet Isaiah, to see the world with a new light, with a new way. That is the hope. That is the journey of going to Bethlehem this season. May we see it so. Amen. Let us pray. Help us, O God, to journey in the light of Christ, who you chose to be a light to all people. Help illuminate our road to Bethlehem, where a week from now we will be celebrating with angels and celebrating with shepherds and celebrating with magi the birth of your son, the birth of the one who shows us the way, who shows us how to live in the world. And comfort us, O oh God, as we wait to celebrate the birth of the light of the world. In the silence of this moment, we hold in our hearts those who are on our minds. God, who comforts us when we are grieving and when we are in distress, hold those who are on and in our hearts this night within your holy care, giving them that which they need during this time. We do all of these things because Jesus taught us how to pray because God, who is like our mother and our father, who arts in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Until we see each other again, good night.
and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. Come to the O Israel.